welcome amazing friends and let's solve this cambridge university interview test together i tell you it's just very simple but tricky okay i know you already have your value of x by inspection but don't be too fast to make conclusion because you observe that what we have here is raised to the power of three and what it means is that this is leading us to a cubic equation meaning also that we are expected to have three values of x so that solution you already have in your mind is not yet the complete solution now join me as i teach you what to do okay now to answer this question we are going to begin it with solution now what do you do let's bring what we have down so we have x plus 3 to the power of 3 is equal to because this power is 3, we can choose to do something to this 8. Knowing fully well that 8 is 2 multiplied 3 by 2 multiplied 3 times, okay? So we can rewrite this 8 to be 2 to the power of 3. Interesting. Now, what do you do again? You are going to now have it as x plus 3 to the power of 3. Then this is positive. We are going to remove it, you subtract. So we have negative two cube and everything is equal to zero. Now, what do you do again? When you look at this critically, it reminds you of a formula in algebra. And what is that formula? You have it that when you have a cube minus b cube, it is the same as a minus b and a squared plus a b plus b squared. Okay, now what it means is that in solving this, for this, we are going to take it that this is going to be our A. And this two becomes our B. So to apply this formula here, because you have seen that these are both cubes and the sign in between is subtraction sign, just like we have it here. So we are applying this here. And to do that, we are going to have our A, which is this, is going to give us, so we have X plus three. I hope you are with me representing a then minus so we have minus our b is two okay so we're going to have minus two i hope you are still with me there now for this we're going to have our a is x plus three so we have x plus three okay and because it's in bracket i'm going to change this okay we're supposed to have it this way so i'm going to change the first bracket to a separate a different bracket to separate it from this. I hope you are with me. So this is what we have for A and we raise it to the power of two. Then bring down your positive sign. Your A is X plus three. So we have X plus three, okay? Then multiply by your B. Your B is two. So we have it as this. But remember, when you have X plus three multiplied by two this way, you can also rewrite it to be this this and this are the same so we are free to take this two off from here and place it before the equal sign so we're going to have it this way did you see that then we have plus okay our b is this four is this two so we're going to have two squared we are done now let's simplify so to simplify this we are going to have so this is going to give us remember everything we have done here is equal to zero so this is going to give us from here we are going to have so we have x this minus this will give us one then we have it open now another bracket okay so we have x plus three we are raising it to the power of two so let's remember this formula okay which says that when you have a plus b raised to power of two it let's bring it down when you have a plus b raised to the power of two, it is the same as a squared plus, use two to multiply this, so we have two ab plus b squared. Okay, so if you apply this here to expand this, you are going to have x will be raised to power, so we're having x squared for this plus, then use two to multiply this. So two we multiply x and also multiply this three. Did you see that? So if you multiply this, it gives you 6x. So we're going to have plus 6x. I hope you're with me there. Then what do you have again? You have b squared. b squared is 3 squared. And 3 squared is 3 times 3, giving us 9. So we have plus 9. For expanding this, 
we have gotten this did you see that so we're going to have plus use this two to expand this bracket two multiplies x will give us two x two multiplies three will give us six okay then plus two raised to the power of two is two multiply two times to give us four close your bracket and what happens everything now is equal to zero i hope you are still with me there now what do you do from this point we are going to have it let's plug this so we are going to have it from here that x plus one into simplify this so we're going to have x squared 6x plus this will give us 8x. I hope you are still with me there. Then add this up. 9 plus this will give us 19. So we have 19. And close your bracket. Everything is equal to 0. Now when you have these two to be equal to 0, what it means is that x plus 1 is equal to 0 or x squared plus 8x plus 19 is equal to 0. Now for this, what do you do? Subtract one from both sides. So we have this subtract one here. So if you do that, this will be removed. So we have X is equal to, this will give us negative one. So we've been able to get one of the solutions for this equation. So to answer this one, you observe that this has led us to a quadratic because the highest power of X here is two. So to solve this, we are going to now have, we are going to make use of our formula method. So there are many other methods, so you can choose any one and let's discuss your findings in the comment. So I'm going to use the formula which says X is negative B plus or minus square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. Now for this formula, your A is always the coefficient of your X squared and the coefficient of X squared is 1. So in that case, your A is going to be 1. Now, your B is the coefficient of X. And the coefficient of X here is positive 8. So our B is going to give us 8. Then our C is the constant, which is 19. So plugging this into the formula, we are going to now have X is equal to, so we have negative of B is 8. So we have negative 8 plus or minus square root of this will give us 8 squared, okay? So we have 8 squared minus 4. Our A is 1, so we multiply by 1. And our C is 19, so we have 19 all over. 2 multiply A, so we have 2 multiplies 1. So multiply out, we are going to have, so this is giving us X is equal to negative 8 plus or minus square root of 8 squared is 64. And when you multiply this, it gives us 7 to 6, okay? Then all over, multiply this, it gives us 2. So if you simplify, we are going to have x is equal to negative 8 plus or minus. Subtract this, it's going to give us negative 12 all over 2. Now when you look at this, you observe that there is a negative sign inside this square root. And each time you have a negative sign inside this square root, that value is no longer a real solution because it cannot be found on a number line. I hope this is clear. So what it means is that this is leading us to a complex solution. And in that case, we are going to have it as, so this is giving us X is equal to negative eight plus or minus. Now for this, it can also be written as negative one multiplied by 12, okay? All over two. Now remember this tip, when you have this, it is the same as square root of A, multiply by square root of b so in that case we are going to have x is equal to negative a plus or minus square root of negative 1 multiplied by square root of 12 then all divided by 2 so what do you do now we're going to have remember because this has led us to or is leading us to a complex solution then we have it that i which is an imaginary unit is always replaced with square root of negative one, okay? So in that case, we are going to have X is equal to negative eight plus or minus. This will take the shape of I. Now this 12 has a perfect square in it. It's not simplified yet. So we're going to bring out the perfect square in this 12 and that perfect square is four. And when you multiply four by three, it gives you 12. Did you see that? So this is going to give us this divided by two. 
And in that case, we are going to have x is equal to negative 8 plus or minus i. Now, this 4, because it's perfect, e square root is going to give us 2. I hope you got that. So, bring it out. It's going to be 2. Now, this will remain in the root because it's not perfect. So, we're going to have root 3. And everything is divided by 2. I hope you are seeing that. So, we simplify this now. We're going to have x is equal to negative 8 over 2 plus or minus 2i. So, we're going to have it as 2i root 3 all over this 2. Did you see that? So, we're going to cancel it out. This will cancel this to give us negative 4. And this 2 will cancel. So in that case, our x is going to give us, remember the first value of x is negative 1, okay? Then from here, we are going to have it as x is equal to negative 4, okay? So we have plus or minus, then this is i root 3, okay? So we have i root 3. So remember, because it's positive and negative, we are going to have x is negative 4 plus i root 3, okay? This becomes the second value of x. Then the third value of x is going to give us negative 4 minus i root 3. This is the third value. This is the first value. Did you see that? This solution is what we call the real solution. And these two are what we call the complex eh, solution. And I hope you really learned a lot. Let us know how much in the comments. Remember, sharing this will help more people to learn the skills we disp displayed and also correct some of the impressions they have towards this kind of question. Remember, you can subscribe for the more tips. Don't forget to give this tutorial a thumbs up. Remember, we'll see you in our next class to discuss more. Till then, bye-bye.